Revolutionary Love. We're here again with another Kamali Academy Warrior Scholar Mental Math class. Today we'll be dealing with learning, learning decimals, and in particular, uh, learning decimals coming from uh, the fractions, coming from the fractions. So again, I am your man, Baba Dr. Brother Samori Kamar, so let's get right on into it, right on into it, all right? So when we're learning to learn our decimals, we have to understand that a fraction is nothing but a division problem, and if we divide a fraction, we will get what? A decimal. So there are some that we should just remember, and if we can remember these, these will help us out a great deal, a great deal. So let's get it started. We probably already know what uh, 1 over 2 is. We know that it's what? half or point fifty, right? We know that one. One over three, we know that one is point thirty three. And two over three is point sixty six. Alright? Pretty easy. Get those in your memory bank ASAP. ASAP. Let's move on. So now we have the the fours, right? So one over four, we know it's twenty five. Okay, whenever you're working on your fours, when you have the denominator, the bottom number, the denominator that is four you want to just think about quarters. Quarters. How many quarters are in a dollar? Four quarters in a dollar. So if you only have one quarter out of four, one out of four is 25. Two out of four is what? 50. Right? And it's the same thing as one over four. Right? And then three over four is three quarters, and that is 75. Real simple to begin with, right? Real simple. Let's keep it moving. Keep it moving here. So now we have the fives. Whenever I think about the fives, I think about, let me see if I can draw a nice little $20 bill here. Let's see, $20, there we go. Some European is on there. I don't even know what European is on a $20 bill. That's crazy. Anyway, but we're doing the, when we have a, a denominator that is, that is five, we want to think about it like we're counting by 20. So we have one over five, that is going to be point twenty. If we have two over five, we're counting by 20, the next one is what? Point forty, three over five point sixty, and four over five point eighty. Real simple, right? So whenever you are dealing with the denominator, when it's a a five, you're going to count by twenty, like twenty dollars, right? So also, how many five, how many twenty dollar bills are in a hundred dollars? Five, right? Five. So let's keep it moving, keep it moving. Pretty easy so far, right? Even a six. Now the six is. We, we only have to memorize maybe two new answers, make two new answers, right? Because 1 over 6, we have to know that one, that is point sixteen or 666, it's going to keep on going, right? Now, 2 over 6, 2 over 6 is the same thing as what? If we reduce it, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So we already know that 1 over 3 is point thirty three. Right, so it's the same thing there. We didn't have to memorize anything new. We just reduced it to 1 over 3. We already know what 1 over 3 is. We keep it moving. Now, 3 over 6, the same thing as 1 over 2, right? And we already know that that is 0.50. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2, right? Now, 4 over 6, again, we don't have to memorize anything new because we can reduce. 4 divided by 2 is what? 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So 2 over 3 is what? Do you remember that one? 0.66. Alright? So we have this one that we have to memorize. Right? Uh, we already know this one. We already knew this one. We already knew this one. So now we have 5 over 6, which is another one that we have to memorize now. And that is 0.83 or 0.33333. It'll keep on going in that way. Alright, so we have the sixes. Six. One over six is point sixteen. Two over six is the same thing as one over three, which is point thirty three. Three over six is the same thing as one over two, which is point fifty. Four over six, the same thing as two over three is point sixty six. And the last one, we have to memorize this one, that is five over six equals point eighty three. Eighty three. Keep it moving. So we're gonna we're not gonna go to the sevens just yet, right? Let's go to the eights. And again, on the eights, not very much to remember on this one, but we have to remember one over eight. One over eight is point one twenty-five, right? Point one twenty-five. Then we go to two over eight. Two over eight is the same thing as one over four. So if we reduce it, two divided by two is one. 
8 divided by 2 is 4. And so we remember when we're dealing with the 4s, we're thinking about quarters, so we got 1 quarter, so 1, or point 0.25. Let me get another color in here. All right, so 3 over 8. Got to remember this one, that is point 0.375. 4 over 8, we already know what that is because that's nothing but 1 half again, right? So that's the that's same thing as 1 half, and that equals 0.50. 5 over 8. we got to remember that one, and that is going to be 0 0.625. 6 over 8 is the same thing as 3 over 4, right? Because when we reduce it, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is, is 4. And 3 over 4, again, when we're dealing with the 4s, we're talking about quarters. So we got 3 quarters, which is 0 0.75. And the last one, 7 over 8 here, we know that that one is going to be 0.8. Seven five. Let me see. Let me see if I can do that one again. I right, got the nice little eraser tool here. Again, eight. Oh, I'm still erasing. I'm still erasing. There we go. We're back. Boom. Eight seven five. Beautiful. All right. So in this one, we have to memorize this one, this one, this one, and that one. How many circles that? That's four. So with the eights, we only have to you know remember four that we didn't know before because all the other ones like this one reduced to one over four we knew that one this one reduced to one over two we knew that one and this one reduced to three over four and we already knew that one. all right so let's check out the nines the nines are real real simple the nines are real real simple magical right so so we have one over nine we put point one and we put a little line here on top of it a little hat that hat means that it's just going to repeat itself so 1 over 9 is point one 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 one. Check this out. 2 over 9 is point two 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 two. right? 3 over 9 is point three 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 three, 3, and on and on and on and on to the break of dawn. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about right there, but it's all good, okay? <laughs> so, again, very, very simple, point seven 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 and point eight 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 eight, and keeps on going, keeps on going. So... 1 over 9, point 1. Point, um, 2 over 9, point 2. 3 over 9, point 3. 4 over 9, point 4. 5 over 9, point 5. 6 over 9, point 6. 7 over 9, point 7. 8 over 9, point 8. Now, if you look at a couple of these, we already, we, we know a couple as well. So let's look at 3. 3 over 9 can be reduced to what? 1 over 3, which again equals point 33. So we see that. And we have right here, 6 over 9 can be reduced to 2 over 3, which equals 0.66. All right? So study these, and I'm telling you, you take your math game to another level. All right, and let's go to the 10s. The 10s are very, very simple, very simple. You make one shot out of 10 shots, that is 0.1 or 0.10, right? You make two shots out of 10 shots, 20, 0.2. Right? Put the little 20 there. We put 20. Okay? 3, point 30, 4, point 40, 5, point 50. Get another color here. 6, point 60, 7, point 70, 8, point 80, and 9, point 90. We see that very, very simple. And again, some of these can be reduced. To, to lower. So if we have 4 over 10, that'll be reduced and reduced by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. And so if you remember your 2 over 5, right, when we're dealing with the 5s, we count by what? 20. So if I have two 20s, I have $40. So 0.40. You see that in 5 over 5, 5 over 10, of course, is nothing but 1 half. And that's going to, five. just 1 half. Let me get my eraser tool again. Boom, pow. All right, and so that's going to equal point, point 0.50. All right, now let's go to the 11s real quick. And this is where we're going to stop. And then we're going to go into the 7s. But the 11s are, 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 are beautiful as well because all you have to do when you're talking about when you have the 11 as your denominator is multiply the top number times 9. So 1 over 11 is point zero 0.09 because 1 times 9 is 9. 2 over 11 is... 2 times 9 is 18, point 18. 3 over 11 is 3 times 9 is 0.27. Get another color. 
4, four over 11 is 4 times 9, point thirty six. 5 over 11, um, 5 times 9, point forty five. 6 over 11, 6 times 9 equals point fifty four. 7 over 11, 7 times 9 equals what? 63. Nine, uh, 8 over 9, 9 times 8 equals point seventy two. 9 times 9 equals 81. And 10 times 9 is point ninety. All right. So the trick, the technique with um, numbers, the fractions that that have eleven as a denominator is just to simply multiply that top number times nine. Real simple. Now let's go to the sevens real quick. Now I already have the sevens here. If you mem memorize this right here, point fourteen twenty eight fifty seven. Say it with me. Point fourteen twenty eight. 57, you know the sevens, right? Because these numbers are simply going to repeat themselves. So you see, 1 over 7 is 0.14, 2 over 7 is 0.28, 57, 14, 3 over 7 is 0 0.42, 85, 71. You see, these numbers are just rotating, right? And the beginning just changes. You see, we, we see here, 4 over 7 is 57, 14, 28. Remember, 1 over 7 was 14, 28, 57. You see that? Then 5 over 7 is 0.71, 42, 85. 6 over 7 is 0.85, 71, 42. Now, let me give you a, a little technique that actually the students, one of the students at Kamali Academy came up with to help us remember these. So, what he said was, 1 over 7, right? So we understand 1 over 7, we just multiply the top number times 2 and then multiply it times 7, all right? So 1 times 2 is, of course, 2. And now we multiply 2 times 7, and that gives us 14. So that is, you know, 0.14, 1 over 7. And so the second one, the next one, we say 2 times 2 equals 4, and then 4 times 7 equals... 28, right? And so that gives us our 28. Check it out. 3 times 2 equals 6. And then 6 times 7 equals what? 42. 42, right? 42. Not 0.42, but 42. Boom, boom, boom. All right. 42. Now, for these next ones, he said, do the same thing, but just add 1. For 4, 5, and 6, do the same thing. So we do 4 times 2, which equals 8. Then 8 times 7 equals 56, right? But just add 1, and you get your 57. Do you see that? So 5 times, so we say 5 over 7, right? So 5 times 2 is 10. 10 times 7 is 70. Add 1 is 0.71, right? 6 over 7, 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times 7 is 84. Just add 1, 0.85. Right? So I hope this has, has really, really served you. I know it's, you know, ran kind of long, but you want to go and write all of these down. Write all of them down. Memorize them. They will help you immensely just in everyday life. All right? So quick review here. Let's see if you know what 3 over 9 is. 3 over 9, point three, 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 three. It'll keep on going. Let's see. 1 over 2, you know that one, 0.50, right? Uh, let me, let me, let me give you this one. We just went over that one. 3 over 7, what is that one? You should have said what? 0.42, right? 0.42, let me see. Let's go with 5 over 11. What is 5 over 11? Remember, just multiply it times 9, so we get 0.45. Let's see. Um, 8 over 10. 8 over 10, 80. Good job. If you, didn't, if you didn't get it on that first try, go back, look at it again, write all those fractions down, study them. They will definitely help you with your math skills. Keep on practicing. Remember, fractions are nothing but division problems. So if you have a fraction, let's say we didn't, we didn't do you know, every fraction. So let's say you have 4 over 12. This is nothing but a division problem. So you're going to put that the bottom number on the outside. And you're going to put the top number with a decimal 
and two zeros. All right? And you go from there. Four, 12 going to four, cannot do it. So you say 12 going to 40, how many times? Three times, and just go from there. Go from there. All right? So 15 minutes of, of, of learning here. Keep practicing. Remember that fractions are nothing but division problems. Study. Be an African warrior scholar. Revolutionary love. We'll see you next time.